Hi everyone, my name is Matt Vizi. I'm a freelance trombonist and music educator in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to be talking about daily routines for low brass players. So what is a daily routine? A daily routine is a collection of exercises that you play every day that helps you stay in shape on your instrument. So just like athletes have to exercise every day, musicians have to exercise every day which is why we make a routine. So there's three things that uh, it will help you out with. And that is uh, the first thing, it's gonna reinforce all the good things that you're doing already. The second thing is it's gonna help you maintain your playing um, abilities on the instrument. And then over time, this is the third thing, you're gonna extend uh, your ability. So you're gonna be able to play higher, you're gonna be able to play lower, faster, softer, um, louder, more flexibly, all those things that's going to help out with that. So I'm going to play through a basic routine and all these patterns are pretty easy to catch on to and learn by ear. I've got them up here on the screen right here. Most of these exercises are from three books so I really recommend you get these books. We got the Remington uh, warm-up studies. Okay, This is by uh, Emery Remington and it's prepared by Donald Hunsberger. Okay, the second book is Basic Routines, Robert Marsteller. And then the third book is our Arbenz uh, Trombone Method. Okay, so those are the three books that I'm mostly going to be working out of. There's a, another book that if you don't want to get all of those books, it kind of combines everything. And that's David Vining's uh, Daily Routines for Trombone. So I really recommend any of those books um, are really great. So let's get into it. This is uh, the first exercise is going to be from the Remington uh, warm up book. And um, the first part of our routine is going to be just focusing on flow. So all these exercises are going to focus on flow. So this is uh, our Remington's. We're going to start on B flat. down to F and I'm just going to do the same pattern starting on F. Every time I change slide positions my air is still flowing so this whole exercise is dealing with flow and we're just lining up the tongue with the air. Um, again, I do that to all seven positions, and then I go down to B flat and do the same pattern. And of course, I can do this all the way if I've got a trigger E flat, D. D flat. So going all the way through this. The next exercise isn't from the Remington's book. It's from the James Stamp warm-up book. And it's just a simple pattern. It goes like this. Again, we're just dealing with flow right now. Natural slurs throughout all this. So notice I went um, B flat in fifth position. Legato tongue uh, when I do have to use my tongue. Again, that's just going to go all the way down to E. Um, it's a nice, really nice pattern. 
when you're doing these, I'm kind of speeding through them just for the sake of uh, this video to get through things quickly. Um, but when you're doing these, really take your time with everything. This is another really good one. This is our intervals. Again, this is not in the Remington book, but it's just a really great pattern. And um, it's really great to slur all these. <laughs> start at high B flat and I'm just gonna go down the scale and then I can go down to A and do the same thing I'm gonna start low A and then go up my A major scale G, G flat, all those different keys. So this is just a few exercises you can do for flow. Oh, this is another really good one. Soft tonguey, legato soft tonguey. So I'll give you an example. So the point is to uh, keep the air flowing and then just use as little tongue as you need. So you can get as smooth of a connection between those notes as you can. Um, so those four exercises make a really great uh, kind of a flow part to your routine. The next big thing that we're going to get into is flexibility. And by the way, uh, this last, this uh, soft tonguey legato, that's number three in the Remington book. That one is in the Remington book. Still staying in the Remington book, we're going to go to flexibility now. And so this is the three note slur, exercise 18. Flexibility is all about can you play low notes and high notes and connect them uh, without kind of losing your connection between the notes. So this is a three note slur. Going all the way down to um, seventh position. Exercise 19 is the four note slur. Five note slur, this is exercise 20. Again, you do that in all seven positions. This is the five note slur. to that top partial, that F, E natural, E flat, that partial is always sharp, so you want to kick that out just a little bit. Um, we can keep going. This is still in the Remington book. This is uh, exercise 50. This is a six note slur plus the seventh partial. And this is just, again, a little bit more extension here. Maybe you don't, maybe you start off with the first ones and then once those are comfortable, then you can start doing these. So again, 
in all seven positions. And um, I started to go a little bit fast towards the end there. But really, I, I recommend playing these uh, slowly uh, and just focusing on, it's not a race to the end, it's all about connection in the notes and being relaxed here as well. Um, when you're doing your um, routine, this is a time to stay as relaxed as possible, reinforce those good habits. And so you wanna be uh, relaxed, not tensing up, not trying to squeeze out the notes. After you do some slurs, it's really nice to get into some flexibility. This is 23 in the Remington book, into trills. I really like to use a metronome for this, so I'm gonna put a metronome on. go and so this is uh, B flat to D again in all seven positions and then with these you can go through all different uh, kind of ranges on the instrument. Exercise 25, so F to B flat. Exercise 26. Um, don't really worry so much about the breathing in these. It's more about just staying relaxed. If you have to take a big long breath or something, um, take a second, take a breath, and then come back in. So this is, uh, this is a comfortable tempo for me, 100. Um, you might be starting slower, uh, you might be starting faster. Just start at a comfortable speed, and eventually you want to speed these up. Um, exercise 27 is F to B flat. Uh, here we go. Oh, Again, all these exercises, they're like uh, lifting weights for brass players. Really, really great stuff to work through. Um, exercise 30, let's do that one. D to F. <laughs> So start, instead of going D to F, go F to D. Um, and I know with that one, you're starting F, maybe kick out the F. Really, it's just all about focusing on partials and air connection um, with these flexibility exercises. Um, Remington number 40. This is a really fun one. You've probably seen this pattern. It goes a little something like this. I'll put my metronome back on. <laughs> because that's how you're going to speed it up. So 
find a tempo that it's smooth to play at. That's where you want to practice your um, flexibility. Okay, we've talked about flow. We've talked about flexibility. Now we're going to talk about articulation. This is from the Marsteller book, number two. And um, I'll just play a little bit of this. articulating all these and um, just relax let the air do the work and um, the tongue the tongue and the air happen at the same time the air is always kind of flowing through this though so just a little bit higher starting on F. Okay, and then going on to number 5. Number 5 is starting on high B flat. And as we're doing this again, if you're not if you're having to pinch these notes out, start with the lower ones. Um, and then uh, work your way up to these. You don't want to be straining to play this stuff. Never straining to play in your daily routine. variations of these 10 is really fun bum 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 again this is a great these are great exercises for articulation and you're just focusing on getting the air into the horn with the tongue lined up and making a nice like a strong full sound on all these notes this is in the Arben book intervals these are a lot of fun And I'll just play a little bit. take your time you want to stay relaxed and when you're going to those lower notes you don't want to blat them out but just let the air go through the horn let the air do the work for you um, air in the tongue and make sure those notes are nice and full uh, one other thing that you can do for articulation in a routine is just play some scales with different patterns so you might do an articulated scale <laughs> Slur two tongue two. Uh, how would I want to do a flat? Right, and so uh, I'm 
I'm sure your band director or orchestra director has given you some scale packets, technique packets. Just play through some of those, and that's a really great way to um, work on work on articulation. Add that into your daily routine. Um, so we've talked about flow, we've talked about flexibility, articulation. Last thing is uh, range, and so this is a really great exercise. It's kind of like a trill uh, little thing, and just start in seventh position. We'll start E. <laughs> supported and um, you want to go for a nice full tone. In all these exercises sound is your number one teacher so um, as you're playing through these always ask yourself am I getting the sound that I want to get um, and if you're not getting the sound you have to relax change something don't tense so much um, ask your teacher for some tips but you're always going for the best sound that you can get. Um, there's two additional things that I want to recommend, and that's soft playing, especially after you've been playing a lot of high notes or maybe a lot of loud stuff. You might want to just play some soft tones. Just let the air flow through the instrument. When we're playing soft, it doesn't mean that we're holding back the air. We're still letting the air into the instrument, but it's just a different kind of quality of air. The air is still flowing, though. It's very much flowing. Um, and the last thing is uh, play things by ear. At least 20 minutes a day. That's a really great way to just uh, uh, really get comfortable on the instrument. Take a song. Um, any song you like, maybe it could be from a movie, it could be from a pop singer or anything like that, learn the notes on your instrument. That's going to really help you get fluent on your instrument. So um, again, we've talked about flow, flexibility, articulation, range. Those things are really great. Um, those three books, the Remington Warm-Up Studies, uh, Marsteller Basic Routines, Arvin, those are three amazing books to have to build a routine um, and then again uh, if you're looking to get like one book a lot of these like types of exercises are in David Vining's basic uh, or David Vining's daily routines for trauma and that's what it's called daily routines David Vining really great book hands down like you have that one book um, you can do so much but I hope some of these exercises um, I hope you can go back, take a look through, and use these to kind of build your own routine. Again, um, the, the strongest athletes, the fastest athletes, they all exercise every day. They all do things every day. So as musicians, we need to do the same thing. So I really hope that this helps you out. And um, happy practicing. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.